Guys, Better Best Dog here, Better Best TV, Better Best Dog TV, excuse me. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Now, in this video, Trev's gonna break down on what to feed your Kane Corso puppy. It's a question that we often get is, hey, what, do I, what should I feed my dog? What should I feed my dog? You know, where do I start? I have a six-month-old bully. I have a 10-week-old bully. I have a, a two-week-old, you know, not two-week-old, but a, you know, a seven-week-old, you know, kind of corso, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We get the questions nonstop all the time. So Trev in this video is going to break down on what to feed your kind of corso, you know, pup. In this case, Deuce, he's in our possession. He's about nine, going on 10 months old, still under a year, still developing in terms of his structure is concerned. So he's been with me primarily. I've obviously been working with him. I've been training him, et cetera. But like I said, Trev in this video is gonna break down on what you can feed your Kanye Carson puppy and also how to leverage some of the food in terms of high value treats. And when feeding time comes, what you should do in those times. So as, our, as, you, as you have heard me say in the past, feeding time equals training time. So you'll see in this video at times we're gonna cut down some brisket into small little chunks and I'm gonna do some, um, some training with them. Now, mind you, high value treats are a different monster because regular treats, yes, they're excited, yes, they're engaged. But when you have something as, like, as far as a high value treat is concerned, it takes the training to a whole nother level because when not only they're super dialed in, they really want what's in your hand. So that means they're gonna be a little more rambunctious and a little more excited. So trying to get that in and dial them in and get them to tune in is a whole process in its own. So that's why we always say, just be patient with the process. It can be frustrating. You're gonna see in this video clips of me trying to work Deuce and get him to calm down and slow down. And even me at some point revert back to my old ways in terms of being very stiff and like, and then realizing, hold on, take a step back. We need to get this guy moving because he's super excited. So you'll see that in this video, but stay tuned. Trevor's gonna break down what to feed your kind of Corso puppy in the uh, first year in terms of how to put a meal together, what we're gonna be feeding Deuce and we're gonna feed Deuce his first raw meal and you'll get to see that going to, going to, um, going to play. So stay tuned, people. Take care, your dogs. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll let Trev take it off from here. Now, in this video, we're going to show you what it means to uh, get a Kane Corso fed. How do you feed your Kane Corso puppy, to be clear, so he can grow up and be a very strong dog, especially if you're feeding raw. So people have asked all the time, I've got a Kane Corso, I've got a Rottweiler, I've got Shepherds, I've got GSPs. I go, wow. Here I am thinking all we're talking about is bullies and nobody else is listening, but they are. <laughs> They're tuned in and we can't thank you all enough for paying attention. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through Jamarcus. He's been taking some good care of Deuce. So a couple things. Ferran sent us a whole damn brisket. <laughs> and I broke a sweat trying to cut that brisket down. I'm talking, I've cut it down, I'm measuring out. What we learned that in about eight ounces, it's, it says it's 64 grams of protein in eight ounces. Deuce is at least a 100 pound dog, so we give him 10 to 12 ounces. So I cut it all down literally, bagged it all up, put it in the freezer. The beauty about it is, is you can cut these things down to, to bite size with the fat and, and, and basically work the dog before feeding him. So you'll see a funny clip of, of Jamarcus kind of trying to get Deuce to act right. <laughs> But it is a new environment. It is a high value treat per se. This is, I mean, look at this meal. This is a pretty meal for a dog who's literally never eaten raw day of his life. Now, when we say never eaten raw, we've been introducing rick rack of ribs. We've been introducing chickens, uh, turkey necks. We've been giving him things, steaks and various things over the past almost month since he's been, uh, you know, in our possession and definitely more so Jamarcus, AKA better best dog, follow him. But, Tonight I said, you know, Farad sent us some food and I want to make sure that we continue to uh, enrich this dog's life to say the least. So, if I'm going cold turkey, I'm talking cold turkey, dog been eating dog food every day of his life until he met me. I said, hey, look, this is what we got to do. We're going to lean into the fat that comes with that dog on uh, brisket. Fat is gonna slow down and act like a Casey because he's a bigger dog, we wanna slow down. His digestive system, we wanna slow it down because he's growing good, but we also wanna make sure he's able to absorb the nutrients. So we gotta double down on the fiber. Fiber's gonna help assist in absorbing those, those things that you want to, all this good food. And because I don't wanna have a blowout, I also double down on the bone. And so when I double down on the bone, this is considered raw meaty. 
that's considered bone. Chicken wings, you know ain't nothing but about two nibbles. You got two bites of, of meat on these boogers. And he's got about four or five from there. And I love spinach because it has a lot of beautiful things. Clearly the blueberries, we talked about the power of blueberries. And of course, in all meals, even if you're changing dog food, pumpkin. I told you also to make sure you have two proteins. So he's got steak, he's got brisket, he's got chicken, he's got chicken legs. There are almost three different styles, clearly beef and chicken, foundationally, of, of meat just in this one meal. Those apple cider vinegar, and some other things that I won't tell you. The only thing I'm missing is puppy blocks. So for one, I've been asked before, hey, can you make a list of all the foods my dog needs? Go to mydogtools.com, download our free guide, which literally just paints a picture of protein, fiber, fat, things that I would feed. The one piece of fat this might be missing is an omega-3, AKA some fish. The challenge is that brisket's so fat, I don't wanna take no risk of going too fat, okay? So we gotta slow down a little bit and then switch the fat out at times. We're doing more red meat in the winter time because, well, it's cold. <laughs> you want the simple answer? It's cold as hell outside. And the temperature here in Dallas keeps going up and down. So we're, we're shrugging a little bit. This bowl is cold. I'm like, boy, my three fingers over here getting, getting frozen. But you're trying to figure out what to feed your dog. I put up another video, protein builds, bones provide satiety. They keep things solid. And your fiber keeps the gut functioning in a way that you can absorb all the beautiful things in this bowl. It's that simple. Now, I've made it simple. It seems complicated. You say, how do I do that? How did you know what to do? It's all numbers. We would weigh the dog. Unfortunately, our scale's not working, so we gotta try to figure out troubleshooting that. We do know he's over 90 pounds. Part of our weighing him is not to say, man, how much that dog weigh? But more so to show you, hey, this is where he started. This is where we need to lean into so we can up you know, uh, his weight, be it there might be areas like in his rib to hip, we say, okay, his stomach's not filling out in the way I like it to fill out. So he needs a little bit more food to hold on to. Definitely during the winter time, you're gonna burn, an active dog is gonna burn a little bit more calories, okay? And from my reading, some people say one gram of protein per pound, some people say two. If you have a really active dog, I'd go as far as three per pound. The protein is not just this, and it's definitely not this. It is this right here. It's, 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 the most, it's the most meat that you have. Everything's got meat here, but this still will read in the body as bone. And if I just gave him these bones, he would poop white tomorrow. And you don't want anything to over calcify. So, I repeat, when you are dealing with your dog, even though Jamarcus is training the dog, even in raw feeding, especially if you've got beef, cut it down. Ask the dog to do something and be patient. Do not get upset. Jamarcus had to make an adjustment during this time because he's he, he went back to his old ways. The, the Chiefs game's going on, so if you hear that, don't worry about it. They're not happy right now. Even though they're winning, I believe. He had to go, he went back to his old ways of just standing still and asking the dog to do something. And the dog was acting like a donkey. <laughs> the minute he got active, because the dog comes out, right? Gets him to sit, gets him to stay. Gave the free command one second too early because the dog was anticipated, right? You want to see the dog get into a comfortable place where he knows he, you're in control and he's not. So when the dog comes out a few times, boom, he's like crazy, jumping all over the place, having a good time, boom, boom, boom. And then finally Jamar starts moving. And he says, oh, we're working. That's what I got to do. Are you with me now? All of a sudden the dog tunes in. Doesn't mean things go exactly as planned, but they're going in the right direction. What I love about watching Jamarcus learn his process is that Deuce is a prime example of something so left field he's unfamiliar with that is gonna force him to uh, tighten up his process. But as we've said, even in a raw feeding, we still have to ask the dog to be better, which requires us to be better, right? So in this case, he's about to get this beautiful meal prepared by yours truly, the one, the only, t here with Fit Bully Fucking TV. I can't thank you guys enough for watching. We're gonna bring you more Connie Corso content. If you have questions, don't ask me, no, I'm playing. You can comment below, Jamarcus and them normally let me know what we need to lean into because everyone's still asking the question, what do I feed my dog? It is hard, people. I'm not gonna act like it's hard. Hell, most people don't know what they need to eat. <laughs> and then what do they do? They hire a nutritionist. What does a nutritionist do? A nutritionist turns around and um, breaks down exactly what you need so that you can change your body. And 
realistically, part of it's changing your mind. Because you can't eat McDonald's every day, and I've been there. I remember going to the gym back in the day, eating eight double cheeseburger, and a dude named Waj, he says, he says, where are you going with that? I'm like, I'm about to go back here and eat this gym, keep working out. He says, Trevor, you can't go back there and do that. If you go back there and eat all that food, people are gonna think they can do the same thing. I say, nobody bother, ain't nobody watching me. He says, they're watching. And he was right. He was right, people. Now that I know you're watching. <laughs> I won't lie to you, I won't mislead you, I will tell you, and as always, share the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. So here we are, trying to enlighten you one more time of what I would feed a Connie Corso that's about nine months old going into his next phase of mitosis. He's gonna grow all the way through 18 and sometimes 24 months, and we wanna make sure that we do what? We supply his body with what it needs by way of work. So we say, he's gonna do this, he's gonna need that. People say, hey, what are the best red meats? Bro, I don't know. I can tell you that venison has double the amino acids of any other protein, but if your dog isn't doing anything, who cares? Michael Phelps' nutritional or caloric requirements are way different than mine. So is Jamarcus's, so is Maul's, Stan's, everybody's. Everybody's body works different. But foundationally, we all need the same things. Food, water, and shelter, man. So stay tuned, take care of your dogs. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to know more about how to feed the kind of course, so how things have progressed, go to the shorts. Jamarcus is going to record that first dookie he takes or the next few dookies he takes. And if there's a blowout, he will tell us the truth. Because I need to know, did this work? Was it enough? Did it cause any inflammation or, or mess with his gut a little bit? Sometimes it does challenge you when you had to convert over. So thank you for watching as always. Like, subscribe, share with somebody who needs to hear this. Take care of your dogs. All right, y'all. So, Deuce finally took his first. Hey, 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 you need to calm down, boy. Deuce finally took his first poop. Post uh, his first raw meal, and it's pretty solid to be clear. Watch out, man. So, mind you. Oh, he just stepped in it. <laughs> but it's pretty solid. So, no squirts, no nothing. But that's Deuce's first poop. Post his first raw meal. He didn't have any blowouts, no accidents or anything. And mind you, it took him almost a, a good, probably 18 hours for him to process all that. But he over getting busy with hair. But as you saw, solid. So clearly his body is adjusting quite well to how, um, to the raw food, excuse me.